Hey, welcome here in the first lesson regarding the usage and editing of backgrounds in our PowerPoint outro. This may sound as a very basic step, but actually I would like you to pay close attention because I will show useful tricks you might use over and over again in your work. So let's start by just entering into the presentation and opening a blank file. As you probably already know, you can edit the background by right clicking on the presentation and going to format background. So the key thing here is the three first modes, the solid fill, the gradient fill and the picture or texture fill. Of course, the solid fill is a very basic one. Oh, let me get back again. We just go here and change the color of the whole background. The thing you should remember from here, if you for example work with a logo uh, or you do have a color scheme you would like to follow, like this would be an example logo, <laughs> I know, it's very interesting, a cool rectangle. You will just go to the bucket here and choose the eyedropper. And now use this color. For example, for the text, I would go to Home, or to Drawing Tools, Text Fill, Eyedropper. And now I would follow the same color scheme as the background has. Okay, come on, this was too easy. So let's proceed to the second mode and I will not explain every option here because I want to show you what I do the most, what I really use. So I do not use the preset gradients. Eventually I click on it to have three color bars prepared or I can, I can simply add some color bars, but most likely people already know them. People don't like them. They don't look good. They are very basic ones, but I, like and use the most is of course the the radial mode the radial type of gradient or the linear one and changing the direction when it comes to the radial the most used one will be the centered one because and if you have an outro or even an intro you want to grab the viewer's attention you you don't want him to look around uh, across the gradient you want him to go towards the middle and hey, check out, this subscribe button is so big, just press on it. And the emphasis is really in the middle and you work from there. So you can work with the colors, but remember, I would recommend in some basic words to use the radial type directly from the middle. We can also change it up. It looks also interesting, especially with, with not too strong colors. Yeah, when I go a bit deeper and darker, this doesn't look quite this good. So let me get back. All right, we know something about the gradient. Now let's proceed to the most important part, the picture or texture fill. I know this is one of the most beautiful textures I have ever seen. I am really stunned and amazed, but let me show how you really use this mode. If you have a prepared background, which is 1280 on 720, so normal HD sizes, you can put it right there as an image file. But what if you have a pattern? I did go to subtlepatterns.com. It's a great research site to download patterns and I downloaded just the first pattern I saw. So let us use it. As you see, it has a size of 300 per 300. So if I use it, this looks really bad now because the whole image was placed in the entire background. So what we can do here is simply press tile picture as texture. So PowerPoint will know that this is a small pattern. Let me actually take this file here and show you. It's about this size big. So always remember that you can download patterns and use them as a whole background. Let me get quickly back. Okay, you can change, sadly, this is a limitation. PowerPoint doesn't allow you to go over 100%. So the pattern, this is the maximum size. You can, however, go down. And as you see, it will be a little bit smaller. So actually, it's not a limitation. It's also a cool feature. You can also change the offset, but this of course depends on the pattern you are using. 
if you are using a really simple pattern like here, you most likely won't use any of those options. You just tile them and be happy that it looks so good. Okay, I did promise you something out of the ordinary and really useful, so it will be in the next lesson, because I don't want to have too many informations in one time. As I close this lesson, remember, most likely you will use the gradient fill, changing, changing the type and its direction, or using the picture or texture fill with beautiful textures like this. So thank you for your attention and go ahead and take the next lesson.